Mark Garrigas, trial lawyer who has represented Michael Jackson, Chris Brown, Scott Peterson. He's also the co-host of the Reasonable Doubt podcast. Mark, great to have you back with us again. You know, obviously there's Thanks. there are so many questions uh, that are coming up here. We, we spoke with a um, arms expert uh, in the film industry, Steve Wolf, yesterday. He basically said it's not possible to fit live ammunition bullets into a prop gun. They're just they're not made that way. They're just made for short blanks. Uh, so it, it's pretty inconceivable that this chain of custody of this gun from Halls to Gutierrez Reed to Baldwin, that of the three of them, none of them realized that this was not a prop gun. Well, I think that that's going to be one of the, that's probably laser-like focus by the investigators on this case. One of the big problems they've got, besides introducing live ammo into a scene or onto this uh, movie scene, is your surviving victim is the director. And the director presumably is the one who hired the assistant director and presumably had knowledge the assistant director was previously fired and is also, as your package just indicated, praising the armorer at the same time. So I think my guess is if you were a fly on the wall with the prosecutors and the uh, investigative uh, agency, they're probably struggling with what are we going to do with the fact that our victim here is also the person who probably hired the people and was supervising all of this. Then you combine that with the fact that Alec Baldwin is presumably in charge because he's the producer and has a great voice on the budget here. And they're also, I guarantee you, looking at whether or not people were shaving money or trying to key, cut costs and that this is one of the results of that. Yeah. Um, so what do you think? Do you think that we will see a situation where Alec Baldwin is potentially charged with something here? And if so, what do you think that might be and who else? Well, I will tell you that I think that it would be, I would be shocked if there wasn't an involuntary manslaughter charge brought in this case. Who do they bring it against is a, is a real question because I don't know that we've heard all the facts. I don't know that somebody isn't, um, uh, at least, you know, there's been reports that people have walked off of the set. Mm -hmm. If people have walked off of the set, they're going to, and there's texts apparently in, prior to this happening, uh, talking about safety. If those things are true, then I think you, you potentially will see two or three people uh, get filed on and presumably for involuntary manslaughter because I don't think anybody intentionally did this, no. but from what's been reported, but clearly um, somebody introduced live ammo on a set and we're pointing it, uh, obviously, at the director. Yeah. Mark Gergis, thank you, Mark. Uh, we'll continue to keep you in the loop. We appreciate your input. Thank you very much, sir. Good to Thanks, see you. Thanks, Martha. You bet. So still ahead.